are we doing? Alrighty. This is nice. This is nice. Look at this. We have nice theme music going here. Look at this. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Welcome to Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show. I'm Ryan Rafel's. Man, if you couldn't tell, here I am. This is me. Alright, I mean, it has been so long. Can we just talk about that for a second? It has been such a long time. I mean, I've done musical tours. You might remember my hit song, Sitting Here on the Counter, way back in the day. Like, man, I was a news host. I did that show News A Lot. Oh, man. I was on the radio, Sunshine State 99.3 FM. I mean, I did live therapy sessions. I ruined people's lives by sending them to the Congo in those therapy sessions, but we won't talk about that. I mean, I did the instructional videos. Man, those were a hit, let me tell you. But this is like, this is gonna be a revival. All of those things you just heard me mention, news show, instructional videos, music, it's all gonna be in one. One Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show. So welcome. By the way, might I first mention that this show is the start of my new Ryan Rafel's epic and amazing social media campaign. So, be looking out for it. It's everywhere. So today I think we are going to get started with some news that I just got in here a little while ago. News a lot. Bringing you the news. Local to national. Alrighty. So, I got this news story in earlier. Uh, the headline reads, Unidentified Walmart Dairy Stalker Draining Stores Chocolate Milk Supply. Very tragic indeed, I would say. Local manager Rick Fiddlesticks was reached by our news team and reports that several cases of chocolate milk seemingly vanished from the store's refrigerated section within a matter of minutes. Okay, the prime suspect, Bob O'Leary of West Hoosville, was found alone in the refrigerator with what appeared to be large amounts of chocolate milk residue covering his face and clothing. O'Leary was later released from the Walmart Mafia holding room. One co-workers came to his defense saying he, quote, always looks like that. I mean, this is kind of a tragic story. Like, you gotta think of it from both sides. We got the people over here, and the people love their chocolate milk, okay? Walmart needs that supply. On the other hand, you got poor Bob O'Leary over here, got himself caught in the room, chocolate milk residue, but maybe that's not what it is. Could he have been wrongly accused? Like, there are so many distinct possibilities here. It's just, you never really know. Two sides to every story. So while we're going here, we got some sponsors going on, so I gotta mention them. Our first sponsor is Rock and Roll Paints. Rock on, am I right? Paint colors. Some of their colors include Joan Jet Black, Submarine Yellow, Knights in Satin White, Purple Haze, Kurt Cobain's Dyed Hair, Aerosmith Pink, and My Ears Are Bleeding Red, which comes in 14 different varieties. I would say that is quite the selection, wouldn't you? Alrighty, so time for this segment that was very popular back in the day. We got Ryan Rafel's instructional videos. How about it? Alrighty, so today, for Ryan Rafel's instructional videos, we are going to be learning how to eat candy corn. So as you can see, I've got some candy corn right here. And be careful, this may shock you. Mm-hmm. That's right. I like candy corn. And you know, I don't like to talk while chewing. It's such a big stereotype. People hate candy corn. You know, there are people that like candy corn. You know, it's not something to be hated on. You know, it has feelings too. Okay? Listen, you candy corn haters, you make me sick. <laughs> Alright, we gotta have some respect. Okay? Unpopular opinion, I know. What can I tell you? I guess that's just me. Alright, so stay tuned. We'll be back for more. Alrighty, here we are again. Ryan Rinkle's epic, amazing show. How does that grab you? Alrighty. 
welcome back, part two of this first awesome, I'm sorry, epic, amazing episode. Alrighty, so going back over to... Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? News a lot. Heck yeah, working on them transitions, huh? Alrighty, so... You may remember years ago, News A Lot brought you the story of this child who began walking and talking immediately after birth and stormed out of the delivery room to get himself a sandwich. So, his parents, Jerry and Eliza Birkenschnog, are now reporting that he has indeed become a complete mute. Yes, parents say that used to being the incredibly abnormal child among his peers, he has taken it upon himself to stop talking completely and remain uncomfortably different from everybody else. So we did try to reach out for the child for comment, however, every time he picked up the phone, it was completely silent on the other end. Go figure. But I do have a second headline for you here today, and that is, Boy stuck in refrigerator eats own foot. Apparently they were only able to get me the headline, so I'm kind of going to have to leave you hanging. I got nothing else. Alrighty, but we have one more sponsor for today's epic, amazing show, and that is Geico Insurance. Now just remember that one Geico driver can delay filming of your epic, amazing show by two days. <sighs> Isn't that great? Alrighty, so I guess that's going to be today's show, but do keep in mind that if you just can't get enough Ryan, you can follow me on the Instagram. And that is at Ryan C. Crafels. That is a combination of Seacrest and Rafels. It's right there, spelled out in black and white. And I'll even drop it in the description. How does that grab you? Alrighty, so that has been Ryan Rafels' epic, amazing show. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I know I enjoy it immensely. So, you know, thank you. You're the best. I love you. I'll see you for episode two.